What's that? I don't know. What you, is it an animal or is it a person? I don't know, but something is in the snare. Look. Maybe it was only a wild animal. No, that was a human sound. How can you be so sure? Shh. Listen. I don't hear anything. I know. It's too quiet. What are we going to do? I'm going out there. You stay here. No. I said stay here. Stay here. What are you going to do? Just a little exploring. Find out who that or what that is. Luke. Yeah. Be careful, please. Just look, do I, I do I look like somebody who's going to take a chance, huh? Look at this. You're a real funny guy, man. Come on, <laughs> cut me down. Don't like that, huh? Cut no, me you down. Know, you're upside hey. down. I understand, but I didn't think it was going to work, man. It Jeez. worked. I can't believe it. You can't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Yeah. yeah, it worked real good. <laughs> hey, don't you call me no city slicker anymore, Jack. I am a jungle slicker, do you mind? Oh, it did. It broke my neck. Oh, yeah, what a shame. Uh, hey, I'm sorry about that. Well, this is a hell of a way to greet somebody. Well, I'm sorry, but it wasn't meant for you, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Come on. It worked! Set the table, what? we caught dinner. What? And don't tell me anymore that Tarzan movies are not educational because the sucker worked. <laughs> It was you in the trap? Yeah, yeah, I was in it. Oh, that's wonderful. That's really wonderful. We caught him. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, you'd have thought it was real wonderful if you were swinging upside down for the last couple of minutes. Yeah, well, how come you didn't yell out? Well, I knew you guys were in there. I figured the least I could do is let you sweat a little bit and wonder what you caught. You did it. We, yeah. we heard it, you know, but we didn't know what we caught. <laughs> so what, are we friends or what? Hey, it's all right with me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. That really was some trap, man. Wasn't it? I, I gotta believe it. Yeah, look, I, I, I think... Uh, Woo! Okay, I think we better hold it down, all right? What? What's the matter? Well, I, I just think after what happened in the barn, maybe we should, you know, be quiet and be careful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll have a good laugh inside, all right? Okay. Come on in. I mean, the guy who tried to kill us at Whitaker's, he may be after us. So let's, uh... Come on, <laughs> Reset the snare, man. After how well it worked, I'm gonna keep that thing with me the rest of my life. Yeah. You know, Hutch, we do have some food if you're hungry. Well, right now I can eat just about anything. Thank you. Well, all right, let's go. I'll move the table down, pull up another little box, and we'll chow down. Excuse me, darling. Can I help? No, that's all right. I got it. I got it. You the guest. <laughs> Sit down. Huh. So, tell me, uh... How did you find us? I thought we were being real careful. It's like I was telling you, man. You're like a city slicker through and through. You left enough tracks in that mud, anybody could have followed you. Uh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah, and don't worry about it, though. I backtracked and I covered him up, and I even made sure I didn't leave any myself, so... So what? You think we're safe, right? I think for the time being, probably so. Uh-huh. Well, at best, it's gonna last the night. And that's all. And maybe not even that long. He's been cheering me up like this all day. I think you better pay attention. He's probably right. I'm going to ditch both of you. Yeah. Okay, tell me what happened when we left the barn. What did you do with this bud? All right. I tied him up real tight, and I carried him about a mile from Whitaker's farm. Left him in a the field there. I love it. <laughs> you know, but, uh, I mean, in, in this amount of time, he could have, he could have, I don't know, yelled for help or something. Did you tell anybody where you were going or that you were going to join us? Oh, man, don't worry about that. No, I didn't tell anybody. We have to worry about that. When are the two of you... Gonna trust me enough to let me know what's going on. Right now. Lucy? Look, we're gonna need help desperately when we get to Fair Oaks. Can't we level with him now, all the way? Well, I'm waiting, buddy. Am I gonna get glued in or what? 
Hutch can't help us if we keep him in the dark. Three heads are better than two at figuring things out. That depends on the heads, pal. All right. Good. Whoa. <laughs> You're pretty as a blonde, too, Lucy. Yeah, well, her yes. name isn't Lucy. Her name is Laura, and I'm Luke. We come from Port Charles. I used to work for a guy there named Frank Smith. He's very high up the ladder on the criminal thing there. And Luke was supposed to marry his daughter. Yeah, well, uh, let's, uh, let's don't get into the grisly details, okay, darling? The point is, I didn't marry his daughter, I skipped. Now, I wanted to do that for a long time, and Laura helped me. Smith is a dangerous man. I know that. I know it very well. So I took some leverage with me. I took a book, a very important book that he has. It has information on all syndicate operations in Port Charles and around the world. Whoa. Huh. Yeah. No wonder they're after you. That's right. The problem is the book's in code. Now, I haven't been able to break the code yet, but that's what we want to do. We want to break the code of the book. We want to take it to the cops. We want to bust Frank Smith. Why didn't you go straight to the police? Man, I can't trust the police. I can't trust the police. I can't trust anybody. He's got informants everywhere. He's got informants in the police department in Port Charles. If we had taken that book to Port Charles Police Department, we would have been iced immediately. Tell him about the left-handed boy. I'm, I'm sorry, who? The left-handed boy. Yeah, look, uh, the, the, the key to this thing is, is somebody they call the left-handed boy. Now, uh, we think that he's in Fair Oaks. We think if we can find him. He's going to break the code of the book. Now, what do you know about this guy? Just the name. That's it. What makes you think he's in Fair Oaks? Well, as part of his daughter's dowry, Frank Smith was deeding to me a building in Fair Oaks. Now, in the book, there are two notations that are not in code, only two. And they are left-handed boy, 150 miles. And Fair Oaks is 150 miles from Port Charles. I see. That's it. But that's where we stand. And that's where we're headed. What are you going to do when you get to Fair Oaks? And uh, how are you going to find him? I don't know. I, I don't know. Look, I, like I said, it's one step at a time. But that's where you can help us. We're going to need a front when we get to Fair Oaks. What do you mean? First thing in the morning, we need to rent a van. It's the first thing we need to do, and I'm afraid that uh, I can't risk either one of us doing it, you know? I mean, we, we could be recognized. Yeah, he probably would be. Yeah, well, we thought if we had a van, it might be a good cover. Besides, we just can't ride the buses anymore. Hmm. Hutch, can you help us? Well... I'm in this thing all the way now. You bet I will. Thank you. Gosh, I only wish that you told me some of this stuff sooner. I might have been a bigger help to you. Well, better late than never, as they say. <laughs> yes. I'm just glad that we caught you in Luke's trap instead of that that man who wants to kill us. Yeah, listen, you know, uh, you, you know this already. But this, this can be dangerous. It's okay. I'm in all the way. Thank you.